All right, guys. So let's uh, let's do this video on Ricky Gervais. All right. Um, apparently, Ricky Gervais. A lot of people consider him on the forefront of of uh, those who are are are, are against uh, cancel culture, against politically correct uh, for being uh, you know who who who's in support of. The First Amendment, I guess, freedom of speech and entertainment. Look, here's the problem with people like Ricky Gervais, who thinks that he is championing, uh, uh, you know, political incorrectness, the, the freedom to say what you want, the, the freedom for entertainers to put out whatever content they want out. All right. Here's the here's the problem with Ricky Gervais. All right. A lot of people will just go to Ricky Gervais and say, you know, Ricky Gervais. This is a guy who takes no prisoners when it comes to just unleashing whatever he wants to talk about, whatever kind of content he wants to put out. You know, anti the, the anti Hollywood guy, the anti liberal guy. All right. So, but but you're wrong about that. All right. I'm gonna tell you why you guys are absolutely wrong about that. All right. Ricky Gervais, like all these so-called, quote-unquote, politically correct uh, entertainers, all right, people who, you know, support those who are, are not liberals, conservatives, all right, the opinion that, 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 that you can put any kind of content out there without being canceled, they're anti cancel culture. But here's the problem with Ricky Gervais. All right. The guy is a selective hypocrite. Well, a selectively racist hypocrite is what he is. All right. Now, everybody knows in Hollywood, for the most part, that at this point, you don't say anything negatively insulting or, or negatively stereotype Jews and blacks. It's been that way for the last 20 years, Jews and blacks, okay? It, it's kind of, it's pretty much included over the last five years. It's included LGBTs, women's rights. It's kind of, it's kind of blown up to include other people, all right? But Ricky Gervais wants to have the right to make fun of races, of subject matters that he can get away with, like, like, he won't make a, a negative racist joke about Jews. He won't make a negative racist joke about blacks. But he, he still he wants the right to make race, you know, uh, stereotypically re negative racist jokes about everybody else. You know, he wants the right to, to make these jokes about Asians. He wants the right to make these jokes about Latinos. He wants... Uh, to, to, to be able to make these jokes about, he wishes he can make these jokes about the Muslims, the way he, the way he's he, he makes these nasty racist jokes about Asians and Latinos. Okay, <clears throat> he can't make he can't do it with the with the Muslims because, I mean, if if he ever does a joke where 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 he puts it out there that uh, Muhammad was you know a, a pedophile or Muhammad, you know, it, it would be. His career would probably over. They they probably have a, a, a was it a fatwa against him, and and his career would be over. All right, these guys, Ricky Gervais. You guys think he he he's brave? He's not brave. The guy's a coward. All right, he's worse than the uh, SJWs. All right, being selectively racist pretty much makes him and everybody else like him a bully. All right, it, it, it's worse. It, it, it's worse than 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 those. It's worse than the Karens. It's worse than than, and than the social justice warriors. It's worse than p the politically correct people. All right, Ricky Gervais wants to be wants to have the right to selectively make fun of certain groups while uh, while while conforming to the liberal norm of 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 not being negative towards blacks or or, or Jews, right? and in this case maybe gays. Um, it, it's just ridiculous, all right? Um, let, 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 let's call this guy what he is. Let's call all these people what they are as far as, as far as what they really are. 
All right, and I'm, and I'm not just talking about Ricky Gervais. All right, I'm talking about uh, Seth MacFarlane from The Family Guy. That he's he's selectively racist in his content. If you watch Family Guy, you know you know that that they know where where the positive stereotypes are, where the negative stereotypes are. Um, I've gone over this in my videos that nobody, no no group wants negative stereotypes. They want positive stereotypes. They'll, it's okay, positive stereotypes. Okay? Not all stereotypes are the same. Nobody wants that negative stereotypes. Okay, the blacks. Okay, if 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 if, if, if you throw if you throw throw positive stereotypes at the blacks, they'll laugh at it. It's racial. It's not racist. But once you throw a negative stereotype out there, they'll point your, their fingers at you and call you a racist. Okay, this is the way all these people work. All right, like the Dave Chappelle does that. Dave Chappelle does that. All right, he he did that special that 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 was called um, Sticks and Stones. You know, and 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 the guy and and people like clap and, and cheer for him. The guy's a hypocrite. All right, he's a coward. Dave Chappelle is for putting up that putting out that special. He's a hypocrite. He's a coward. He's a he's he's he 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 is a uh, he's not a non PC guy. All right. All right. He thinks he has the ability to just, you know, make fun of of, of non-blacks and then expect people to, to 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 be okay with it. But then when somebody makes a negative stereotypes towards black, like if if some comedian say made a joke like, hey, you know what, black people are so stupid. You know, their IQ is like seventy is is seventy. I mean, no wonder they can't build up a civilization worth anything. You know, I'm not a comedian, but if there was a joke in there somewhere, and there probably is, um, uh, probably a joke in bad taste, but there's probably a joke in there somewhere. Uh, Dave Chappelle would go, that's just racist. All right, I'm offended by it. That's just racist. He needs to be canceled out. But, but, you know, you know, he goes and, and does all these really nasty negative jokes about all these other groups and he's okay with it. He's, he's patting himself on the back over it and people are like, man, you are such a freaking uh, non-PC. He's not a non-PC guy, all right? All right, wake up to this, okay? Ricky Gervais is not a non-PC guy, all right? All right, this guy, Ricky Gervais has no issues with, you know, making fun of Asians, no issues with making fun of Latinos because he can get away with it. But, you know, when it comes to blacks, he, blacks and Jews, he, you know, the jokes he does, they're not negative jokes, all right. If he if he does stereotypes, there'll be positive stereotypes. He's not gonna put a negative stereotypes in there. He's not gonna do a, a, a negative stereotype jokes about you know black dudes having high high rape uh, rate rates. He's not gonna do uh, jokes about how how how, how blacks have uh, you, you won't even do jokes about how black 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 mm -hmm. hair. Black hair is uh, is like uh, you know pubic hair, whatever, what whatever. He won't even go there, and that's not really a negative, negative, negative stereotype joke. He won't go and 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 and, and say, you know, black dudes are so stupid they can't, you know, they, he won't go, he won't touch any of that stuff. All right, the guy will not touch any of that stuff. But you know, when it comes to other groups that he can get away with, you know, he'll, he'll just go absolutely KKK on those groups, which is. Which is the very definition of cowardice. It's the very definition of cowardice. All right. The fact that you want to selectively, you know, bully certain groups. That's just the definition of cowardice. All right. And have and want to have the right to do it. Look, if, if, if you're going to treat blacks and Jews with kitty gloves and, 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 uh, and, and, and not go after them as far as material that's just absolutely racist, downright mean, hateful, racist stuff that might be funny. You know, if, 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 if that's your if that's your thing, then, then don't go after anybody else. Don't go after anybody else. Don't, 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 don't go out there and, 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 and complain about cancel culture, etc., etc., because that makes you out to be an absolute hypocrite. Worse than, worse than the uh, SJWs, that that you're criticizing worse than that all right you know it just, it just annoys me the amount of retards who actually point to Ricky Gervais as as, as some kind of conservative uh, you know anti SJW hero he is not 
an SJW. He's not an anti-SJW hero. The guy is a dumb piece of garbage. No talent. Well, uh, you know, no talent. Whatever, you know, it, it, at, at, at the very least, the guy is a hypocrite. At the very least, it's, he's a hypocrite. And uh, if you guys have an opinion on this, you guys know what I'm talking about, all right? You want to you have an opinion on it? Leave your opinion in the opinion section, all right? But the reality is the guy is a dumbass like all the people who actually support him. You guys are a bunch of dumbasses on top of that, so...